All right, so in here, uh, what we're working on is if we want to change the cover image or the profile image, uh, we are supposed to see it here before we actually change it, okay? So that's a very easy thing to do. So let me go to my uh, change profile image right here because below this, there's uh, some HTML. So we can simply go here below this uh, div form so we might put it we could put the image inside here let's see how that works image source so now the source is going to be from the user data because we already have the user's data in here so let me put php tags and echo user data so what I want to echo is the uh, either profile image or cover image. So I think the best thing to do is to put the PHP tags at the top here so that this whole section is in PHP form. Let me close that up. Is that how you do it? I'm forgetting how uh, the tags work. Okay, I'm not forgetting actually, maybe this is what's the problem. Like that, there we go. PHP tags, what's going on here? Okay. All right, so I'm not losing my mind. Okay, so what we're supposed to do now is echo the image and its source, like so. I'm going to echo the HTML. So here I'll put two small inverted commas because the big ones are outside. Okay, so what I want to do here is to echo the image depending on what we are trying to do. So we can know what we are trying to change using this query here, using the get variable at the top. Where is that? We had the get variable right there, check. So let me copy that. Let me come down here. And we ask the same question again. So we'll say change is equal to profile. So we are checking for the mode, uh, whatever that mode is. So then if it's set, set it to that. So what we could do is here, we could say if it is set and, let's just put an and here to speed things along. So and this is equal to cover then let's change it to cover here otherwise it remains on uh, profile so if it is a profile or cover so let me check this so let's put an if statement here if cover or if change is equal to profile actually we could put all this in here and avoid another if statement uh, just put an else here like that and we don't need this anymore so if change is set and then it's equal to cover then we do that if not we deal with the profile so let's echo this one. Let me echo it here if it's a profile. Let's start with that. And we're going to add a style here. We're going to say width 500 pixels. So it's going to be a square image. So I'm just going to say max width 500 pixels. And then the source here is going to be the uh, user data 
like that. Now, since it's inside these quotes, we don't need to put uh, small quotation marks like this when accessing an array. We can just say user, actually, what's, what's the image source? Uh, profile image, like so. So since this is easy, I can simply uh, copy it and paste it here. Now for the cover image, I want the width to be 100%. Oh, I can leave it there still. We will adjust if we need to. So now let's go to change profile image. And there we go. So that was easy enough. So you can make adjustments as you want, for example, can put it in the center uh, and all you need to do is get this div to say uh, text align I actually don't want to align everything in the center here so what I will do is create a div above this and down here the div has gone this way so let's push him back mm -hmm. and then i can add a style in here and say text alignment uh, center then what i could do is in the styles of these images i would say uh, actually an image is already in line so it should move to the center okay and also let me put some break tags just to move everything uh, lower Yeah, that's better, so that it's better centered like this. So I'll know I'm changing this. If I come back and I want to change the cover image, I know I'm changing that, okay? So now uh, this has presented one other problem is that the cover image, for example, is cropped permanently. So on social media, usually when you click on the cover image, you can see the full image. Uh, even on the profile image, even though it's cropped here, when you click on it, you can see the full version. So what we need to do is change how we are uploading these files. We have to upload two versions of it, the full version and the cropped version. And before we do that, we have to look at this image right here. It hasn't changed according to the profile image. So what I need to do is go to uh, the header that's in the folder here, the header.php and drag it into the system here. So over here, um, what's that, uh, selfie.jpg. So since we're including this file in the overall file, it means whatever variables are available at that time will also be available in here. So we can simply check if uh, user data is available so php now the reason we are checking is because some the header might be there on pages that don't need a sign up so we have to confirm that uh, that the user data actually exists so let me say if is set user data like that okay so here let's say uh, let's call it corner image corner image is equal to we'll put an empty string there and then we're going to say if it is set then corner image is going to be user data profile image like that otherwise here it's going to be uh, let's add that default images uh, slash mail dot jpg i think it's user underscore mail the jpg something like that 
uh, this will probably never show because um, I don't think this will be available if we are not logged in anyway so but just in case we'll use that one so if I uh, refresh now I should see the updated version here oh actually I haven't set it down here sorry so I'll go corner image and let's go down here at selfie.jpg and re replace this with uh, php tags and an echo of a corner image and close that like so so let me refresh now and there we go so we have that which is uh, pretty awesome so now let's try and log out and log into using a different user Let me try a female this time, and I'm going to say one, two, three, four, that's the password. And there we go. So uh, it seems it has adjusted, as you can see, this is a new profile with a different user who doesn't have a profile image and so on. So let me log out. And log in as the other user, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And there we go, that's my profile right there. Okay, so in the next video, we're going to look at how to maintain uh, the, the original image without cropping it and only show the cropped version here. All right, so I'll see you in the next video.